Hello and welcome. The library topic for the online faculty in service is an overview of your digital library services. We will cover how to access the online library, what LEARN is and how to search in the LEARN research databases, introduce the Westlaw Legal Database, the program resources available to you and your students, online library, live chat, phone and email, and how to request live webinars for yourself and the classroom. Why access the online library? Students and faculty access the library website to search in the LIRN, the Library and Information Resources Network databases, and the Westlaw database. Also, to chat with a librarian live and use the program resources. Here you can see a screenshot of what the library looks like. Different avenues to access the online library are for faculty and students through Moodle, the online classroom, for students only through their student portal, and for faculty and staff only through the faculty portal. Let's first take a look on how students and faculty will access the library through Moodle, the online classroom. Through Moodle, students and faculty will follow the steps outlined on the screen. Step 1. Sign into your online classroom with your academic username and password. Step 2. Click on eResources on the top of the navigation bar. And Step 3. Click on Library. Just as easy as it is to access the online library through the online classroom in Moodle is just as easy through the student portal. For students, they log into their portal and then click on Library under the My Academics tab. And lastly, for all faculty, another alternative to access the library is through the faculty portal. Step 1. Sign into the faculty portal at faculty.deltaed.com with your academic username and password. If you are having trouble logging in, contact the IT department and say, I need my academic account password reset or an academic login to resolve any issues. And step two, click on resources and then click library. Now that we know how to log in into the online library, here is a screenshot of what the home page of the library website looks like. On the left hand side of the page, we have our live chat help button and at the top of the page we have links to take our faculty and students to our research databases in our LEARN, L-I-R-N. Additionally, we have our program resources and the Westlaw Legal Database. It is vital that we educate our students about the assistance, tools, and resources that are available to them. Click on the tab labeled LEARN, L-I-R-N, Library and Information Resources Network databases at the top of the screen to be taken to a page to log in to learn to do research. After clicking on the tab for Learn, you will be redirected to select your campus. Students will select their online campus with their affiliated college. Once they click on their campus, they will be directly taken to the research databases to search. There are millions of full text, peer reviewed articles, ebooks, podcasts, and much more for assignment research. Let's double check to make sure you know what Learn is. LEARN stands for Library and Information Resources Network. It is a part of our digital library. Digital databases and resources that are available 24-7. The LEARN collection provides students, staff, and faculty with millions of peer-reviewed, full-text journals, magazines and newspaper articles, ebooks, podcasts, audio, and video resources to support one's academic studies. These come from Gail Cengage, ProQuest, Culture Vision, EBSCOhost, eBrary, Directory of Open Access Journals, the Internet Public Library, and the National Center for Biotechnology Information, covering all topics. In LEARN, like other library research databases, you can conduct a simple search or an advanced search through the Learn Search Engine, or you can search within an individual database or a subject. Let's see an example. Here is an example of what a Learn page looks like. You can see your different options of how to search on the screen. 
On the upper top right hand of the screen, you can type in your topic or keywords of interest and click the search button. And or you may click the advanced search button right below the learn search bar and personalize your search to retrieve more precise results. Also, you can click on a subject of interest under subject view and click on a database listed under the subject. The next slide will show you a 10 minute video providing details on how to search each way. When you search in the Learn database to perform a basic search, input your keywords into the Learn search box. Remember, databases such as Learn require key terms. You cannot type in a sentence or question like you do when you use search engines like Google. Let's search for gum disease as an example. After you input your key word or term in the search box, click on the search button to go. Now you will see your results. Because we conducted a basic search, we have a large amount of results, 96,000 or more. You can manage your current results by picking options on the left-hand side of the screen and start looking at your results below. And or you can start looking into personalizing your search grader by conducting an advanced search and limiting your search by configuring some options under the tab Search Sources. Let's go ahead and explore these options by looking at how they work in more detail. This will be displayed within the next five slides. When one clicks on the Advanced Search option, one can personalize their search string by using the Boolean operators AND, OR, OR NOT. This will connect or disconnect keywords to help you personalize your search phrase even more. Click Go to redo your search to get narrower results. To manage the results in which you can see on the screen after conducting an advanced search or basic search, use the tools under the Manage Your Results box. You can control what you want to see in terms of how your results are displayed and sorted. The Search Sources tab offers a more personalized advanced search. This tab offers more personalization to narrow or facet your search even more. The Search Sources tab really helps with narrowing and personalizing one's search. Under this tab, there are options to choose from. First, we have the Search Sources option, where one can pick and choose databases to search within. One can do this by subject. Second, you can use the Search Options button to determine whether you want your search results to be listed alphabetically by title, author, date, or more. Whether the software should remove duplicated records based on title or other criteria. And most of the choices available here are self-explanatory. You can choose to use these features before you search, but many of them are also available after you get search results. Lastly, you can continue filtering or narrowing your options by clicking on Search Limits. The selections in this section allow various search limiters to be included in the query. From the first category, the set with limits are Language, Material, Date, Full Text, and Peer Review. You can set the limiters common to all selected that you would like, or you can choose the limiters specific for each selected source. Once finished, click Close to save your settings. If you would like to restore everything back to default, click Restore to Defaults, and your options will all go back to the default search. Now you have filtered your search query by setting limits to your search. You have closed out of each box. Now click Go to redo your search. Your results 
will come back more personalized and you will not have as many results. This is how you conduct an advanced search by using the limits and filters through the Learn Search platform. So far we have covered all the search options and how to conduct a basic and an advanced search through the Learn Search box and Learn platform. Now we are going to take a look at a couple of individual databases to show you how you can conduct an advanced search through this avenue instead. When one searches through the Learn Search box, keep in mind the results that appear come from all of the selected databases that you have chosen in your search. Now you will see the option on how to select a particular database to research in by subject. When logged into Learn, select a subject area to see databases relevant to your topic of interest. Under each subject area, there is a drop-down menu which lists databases. These databases have a description which briefly explains what the database offers. Most of the databases include e-articles, e-books, videos, newspapers, and other resources. To search within a database, all you have to do is click on the blue button next to it. Let's search in a Gale database to see what this vendor provides and what the search screen looks like. This will be just one example of a Gale database. Here is what the home page and search box look like in this particular database. Please take your time to explore what tools and search options Gale has to offer. This will be shown in the next four slides in more detail. Now we will look at one more vendor and interface to show you how different they can be. But just remember that once you become familiar with one or two databases, you will understand how to navigate and conduct an advanced search on other databases quickly. Here is ProQuest's search screen and home page. Again, the next four slides will show you the different tools that ProQuest has to offer.
Learn carries more vendors than just Gale and ProQuest. But looking at examples of a couple of databases that learn houses gives one an idea of the different options in which one can search. When one searches in an individual database, he or she may get fewer results than when searching through the Learn Search box or engine. Overall, it is a preference, and there is no right or wrong way to search. Just remember, when you become familiar with one or two, or even three, different databases or vendors, you'll be more familiar with advanced research. Now that we have reviewed LEARN in depth, separate from LEARN is our Westlaw database that we offer to both faculty and students who teach and are studying our legal programs like paralegal and criminal justice. You can access information on Westlaw on the library website. Westlaw is a legal database by Thomson Reuter. One can search federal, state, and court cases, including the Supreme Court. With Westlaw, you can build the strongest argument relying on superior legal materials, including authoritative primary law, exclusive analytical materials, practice area insights, the largest online collection of litigation resources, public records, and more. And you'll deliver the best answers faster with West Search, the world's most advanced legal search engine, pulling from proprietary sources such as West Key Numbers System, Key Site, notes of decisions, and added search terms. To register yourself or your students to use the Westlaw database, please send myself, Natasha Hogue, an email with the first, last name, and email address of the user who wants access. It is very important that our CJ and paralegal instructors are using this subscribed professional legal database that our institution offers. Now that we have discussed all the research databases that are offered to you and our students, let's take a look at the program resources that we have to offer. Program resources are updated continuously to reflect current and relevant extra tools and guides for both faculty and students. On the library website, the tab to view the program resources is shown here. As you can see, we have a list of all the programs offered in our institution. Each tab list a program of study and includes information covering APA citation help and examples, videos both fun and instructional, career outlooks and opportunities, reliable websites to support the program of study, and terminologies, blogs, tutorials, professional organizations, and much more to assist both our students and faculty in their program of study or their area of expertise. Here is an example of the Nail Technician Program Guide. Another guide that we offer is the APA Citation Help Guide. This is a fantastic area to direct students when they need help with APA and avoiding plagiarism. We have tutorials, example papers, templates, citation machines, and much more to educate and assist with APA. You can use all the program resources on the library website. Also, in the classroom, when setting up your discussions, and just directing our students for help in their program of study. When you or a student need help with assignment research or just have a question, click on the live chat button on the library website to speak with a professional librarian for assistance. Please note that the library does not house textbooks for students for their courses in any format in the library. Also, one can call or email us too. Having our live library services for our faculty and students allows us to extend library reference support, hours beyond campus operational hours to include evenings and weekends. We have professional master degree library and information staff provide student support, facilitating anytime, anywhere access to library sources and services. And having this allows us to develop student competency to formulate a research question, conduct a search for information, evaluate relevance and validity of resource, and apply the information with professional librarian support. Lastly, in order for our faculty and students to become properly educated on our library services and APA, we provide remote trainings. All you have to do is request a service through the company's Delta Connect site, and a professional librarian will set up a training with you. 
faculty and staff can access library requests through Delta Connect. Requests that are made include online trainings for students and or faculty. Topics include our Learn LIRN research, databases, Westlaw, a general overview of the library functions and services, an in-depth presentation on APA and plagiarism, and identifying and displaying academic credibility. Additionally, if you have a request for Westlaw registration, you may do so through this avenue as well, and request program resources. We want to make sure our instructors are providing the librarian with information resources that they deem relevant to their program of expertise. Additionally, if an instructor would like to see a library website update, they can submit content recommendations. Access this by clicking on Delta Connect, clicking on Departments, clicking on Academics, and then Library Request. Here is a screenshot of what the Library Request page looks like on Delta Connect. Click on Library Request to request live trainings remotely. Thank you all for your time and attention. Remember, we have a full library website that offers many tools and resources for both our students and faculty. Please educate your students on the student services that the library has to offer. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out to me directly. Thank you.